Is Donald Glover's new boba shop appreciation, appropriation, or just globalization? I'm here with Phil Wang from Bopomo Cafe and Wong Fu Productions. Uh, we're over here in the Bay Area for the Bay Area Classic Celebrity Charity Basketball Game. Yes. I'll show some highlights down below. But we got to talk about this because you're a boba shop owner. You're, Taiwan, Mofo, you're yes. Taiwanese American. You yes. uh, and and we've been talking about whether Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino, amazing artist by the way. I love a lot of his songs. I always watch his comedy. But I guess he's doing a boba shop in Silver Lake, California now. Yeah, it was kind of wild when I heard that, and I was like, oh my gosh, have we have we gotten to this point? Are we has boba arrived? I, well, this is weird because like Jack in the Box and like all these other places have already have done their boat like these boba drinks. So mm -hmm. people have already been debating, oh like is boba right. already here? But I think this is the first time it was like a singular celebrity, non-Asian, mm -hmm. that was like creating this business and I think it caused quite a stir. Right. right. And I think it's different than how the corporations did it because you could say, oh, they're it's like they're doing it for clearly profits yeah. where Donald Glover, he's probably I don't know why he's doing it. I don't, this doesn't look like a money grab because it's a very nice boba shop, drinks are very expensive, but also Yeah. He d he has a lot of money. It doesn't seem like he this is gonna be he doesn't his need business. This. Yeah. yeah, this is not this, his. I think his this life. is purely vanity. Okay, a vanity project for sure. And to answer the question, which is a loaded and nuanced question yeah. about whether it's appreciation or appropriation yeah. or possibly just globalization, you ask why are you opening it? That's yeah. a key question for if it was an Asian person that was opening a soul food restaurant, yeah. if it was a white dude who wants to cook Chinese food, yeah. whatever it is, okay, because... What's the why? Yeah, and it's not wrong that yeah. anybody outside of their ethnicity yeah. cooks or makes that food, but there is a question of, okay, what makes you want to do it? That and the how, too, right? It's like, how are you going about it, right? So like, I think like just what you, what you brought up about like if there's an Asian person doing soul food, for example, even if it was like where they grew up, where they had like this influence, it's like people would still question at step one, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You're doing soul food, like there would be that scrutiny. And I'm just wondering if like Donald ever thought that he would, especially because he, he literally made an episode in Atlanta about like a black uh, guy opening up a sushi restaurant. <laughs> and like, he must, like he's a cerebral guy, right? Oh, he he's must, very deep. He must like... have thought about what this would look like optically. Right. Right. And right. it doesn't seem like there's been any kind of statement or acknowledgement of where Boba came from, do, or having an, an Asian, Taiwanese, or Chinese partner. Do you, you know? think that he's thinking, when you look at the pictures of this Boba shop, all right, it doesn't look like your average Boba shop. Yeah. There's not anything Chinese or Taiwanese about it. Yeah. It looks like a totally different vibe, like a Coachella booth, or like some type of installation. <laughs> it does, it you got does. like canoes and like yeah, yeah, different yeah. lights, and I heard that he hires very like, just good looking like influencers <laughs> to serve Boba. Sure. It's more like a, a, it seems like he's not trying to like be Taiwanese. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> he's, this, he's just trying to this do something is, cool. This is the, uh, the style, but. <laughs> right, right, right. This is a bare bones yeah, yeah. Taiwanese like uh, boba shop. But I'm saying like, I guess it seems like maybe he just thinks, and is it right or wrong that boba is like this fun drink? How deep is boba? And yeah. how, because I'm not saying that you're mad about it and yeah. nobody I think needs to be mad about it. But I think you can ask like, I guess how, like where's how is boba being viewed now yeah i guess if it's i guess he must just think like it's just like a cool like scene or like it's a cool um hip product to want to jump into right which i think that is a net positive for the overall like product and the market and the industry right right, right. um but i mean there's also the jokes that it's like it was just like uh it was just a lira for asian girls <laughs> <laughs> like, Donald, yeah. Donald Glover does have a history of liking Asian girls. I didn't know he, that. He, he I quotes that. it. Well, I know that there was that one line, UCLA or whatever. Like, there's, there's multiple lines. Multiple lines. Okay. I mean, he's made I, a lot of songs, let's be honest. Okay. I think that, In that way, it's a little creepy. That makes yeah, it, that, makes that it was creepy. years ago. Do we, how much do we hold that against? Uh, sure. Debatable, it's up to you. I think that's your personal preference on sure. how. But let's get into some comments real okay. quick, all right? From people who, who saw the news that yeah, Donald Glover was yeah. opening a boba shop. Because I haven't been. You haven't been there? Yeah. Uh, someone says, yo man, can we just get some music, Donald? <laughs> it uh, has been a while, yeah. Someone said, um, man, there's nothing that this man can't do. Uh, opening a boba shop is not that. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. <laughs> opening a culturally <laughs> important boba shop yeah. is, is hard. No, well, that's the thing. Opening, serving boba is not complicated. No, him signing his name to something is not hard. Let's just say that. Okay. All like right. If he was actually opening up his own, then that would be very difficult. Yes. All right. Uh, Donald Glover opened up a boba shop in Silver Lake. Why is that actually so on brand for him? What the F? He has a boba shop. Yeah. Um, 
Is that all bad for him? One thing about Donald Glover is he'll do anything for those Asian girls for real. There it is, Steve. All right. Other people uh, know. Yeah, is it uh, just meet Asian women? I don't hey, know. Hey, Asian He's guys not like, wor- Asian guys like Boba too. Actually, although I don't have any Boba in here. That's not why. I don't know. I want to say some Asian guys might open up Boba shops to meet Asian girls too, but it's it's different when it's coming from the other side. Uh, remember when he was hella racist towards Asian girls? This is LOL. I don't know about races. It was more like a fetish. All right, so there's a, there's a lot of people calling this out. Yeah, clearly. so I don't want to. I'm not gonna get into this whole racism versus fetish thing because that's like a different or, or video. Let, or let the Asian girls like that's their fight. Let, right, let right. They have to that. discuss yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just we're just talking about boba. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, last one. Uh, this reeks of appropriation, but it's not against black people, so it doesn't matter. Dude is known to have yellow fever and talk crap about Asian men. <laughs> That's not happening at Jelly Man. That's not happening they at sh- Donald Glover's They spot. should hire like an old oh. like Chinese or old Asian lady to like just like yell at people. Yo, don't give them idea. That would actually be <laughs> hilarious. You guys should do that too. No, <laughs> that I would think give them, that would give them street cred. That, that's super authentic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that would actually would that quell your like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your actually, actually, if he dude, that would that would be so dope if actually he partnered with like a Taiwanese grandma. Actress, to, op- yeah. to open up like oh, show. like and just like a random and just like like this was like his gift to her, you know. I could see. All right, I'm not gonna lie. If he did that, I could see some some criticism of that being try hard, oh, right? Sure, you know. Sure, Anyways, sure. okay, that's a funny yeah, idea. You're always gonna uh, upset someone. Yeah, okay. Whatever happened, that's that's very that like. That's a real time when he's like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a real time when he's yeah, yeah, right there. Sure. All right, um, keep going. Keep going. Anyways, uh, no, that's it for the comments. Okay. So I think that. I think, let's answer the question, in our opinion, and these are, we're people who do think about this culture being shared, and, and I think that there's, I always say that there's a sense of Asian America, and maybe it differs for the Asian, but that, in general, Asian Americans want to be part of America. We're, we're talking about, like, hey, when are we going to get accepted? Yeah. So we have this culture and this product that gets shared, and it does get placed onto the yeah. table of potluck, right? It's a potluck table of everything yeah. else, and people can grab from it. Somebody else sees it, be like, oh, I want to serve that too next mm-hmm. time. Yeah. I might bring that to the potluck. Mm. That's not wrong in itself, yeah. right? Yeah, I think uh, th- that's what America is, right? It's like, it used to be like a melting pot. Now it's actually like a, what, a salad, or like you're saying, it's a potluck table. It's a potluck. Right? What do you bring to right. the table? So I think I think that's great. I, I think it's it, like, so that's what I was saying. I think overall, like, it, we're gonna, we're, it's unavoidable. We're gonna get to a point where boba, is going to be served by non-Asian people. Are we at that point? Jack in the Cle- box, clear- Dunkin' Donuts. Clearly we are, right? So the only thing is, like, I just hope that as it rises up that we don't lose where, like, the, the information and the appreciation of where it came from okay. and, you know, just that acknowledgement, I guess. But I think, again, maybe that's also unavoidable. Like, for example, like, I as I eat Chipotle, as I eat Chipotle, do I like know exactly you know what type of cuisine that this was inspired by when the white guy made his first burrito? You know, I, I guess I right. Think, right. Is it what region of Mexico right. does the Chipotle burrito? Yeah, right. Well, I guess Chipotle. I don't know. So I guess Phil, how serious should we take boba? Now I think different Asians, depending on maybe if you're Taiwanese or Chinese, you may feel a little closer to boba yeah. than other types of Asians, yeah. right? Who you know, this is like clearly like every boat like it's a fun it has Chinese, yeah. but as Chinese care, it's it's, oh, yeah. it's in Chinese. So I guess how serious is boba? Is it like pizza? Can we like you know how all different people make pizza? Yeah, yeah. All Asi- Asians make pizza. Korean yeah. pizza is pretty trendy. Yeah. I, I like. I want to see more Asian flavor pizza. <laughs> I know. In New York, yeah. Serious. In New York, though, as serious as pizza is, we do. There are some Caribbean like Trinidadian people who make. Yeah, their own take on pizza now, but they got some heat for it. Sure, okay. But they stood through it. Yeah. So how serious is boba? Because even within Asians, yeah. there's going to be a variance of how people feel. Right, right. Some people are going to feel closer to it. I've been to Taichung, which is the birthplace of boba. You visited too. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean that we're like me or you? Well, see, it's also like other 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 Asians even are doing boba their own way too. Right. Yeah, a lot so, of Vietnamese own boba right. shops. So it's not even like it's like. Is that like is that even appropriation, right? So it's like it's yeah. Okay, can you interappropriate amongst Asians? Right, right. No, to be honest, I yeah. think I think is that a question? Well, I, ultimately, when it comes back to Boba, I think like we we definitely are at a point where it is hitting the mainstream. Way like and it, we've come so far from just five years ago when Jimmy Fallon was like gagging right. on on late night, right? So that's kind of wild to me that in such a short period of time it is 
it has transformed from this, you know, um, exotic, weird, sh weird, gooey thing into the, in the Ooh, drink. chewy tea. To, yeah, mm. so now it's like, we literally Bopomofo, we catered a bat mitzvah, like, a couple months ago. Is that, what? Like, is that crazy? Like, like, you know, teenage, preteen kids, Jewish kids are asking for a bobo, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think, I think we're going to get to a place where, yeah, th it's unavoidable and ultimately, like, um, that's, uh, th there's a net benefit for, I think, the overall community, but I, I at some point, yeah, it is just more personal because like we're, it's like it's like our culture that we just have to like kind of like release into the world. But o o overall, like it's gonna it's gonna lift everyone up, I think. Yeah. So to be clear, Phil Wang not gatekeeping. Just I'm not asking. Gatekeeping. Yeah, just asking. Just asking. Just people. asking why. I just want people to think a little bit before they they do it. You know, like I just want people to like. Do you want it to be on the website like, hey, by the way, boba is a tasty drink. It originates from Taiwan, Taichung, Taiwan. <laughs> I don't know, Should we? Man. I, I mean, maybe tea comes. At, tea, where does tea come from? Do we got to talk about it comes yeah. from Indi uh, the region of? A lot of it comes from Vietnam these days, actually. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the truth, actually. I, I guess, um, yeah, I think that's fair. I think yeah. it's funny. I think for me, I'm always interested to see how people, uh, I guess, play with or I don't want to say use in a negative way, yeah. but use Asian culture. Yeah, it, I'm very curious. Yeah, um, ultimately, like this isn't like yes, we're talking about boba, but like we're not like it's not like that. Like oh my god, this is boba. Blah, blah. Like we're talking about just overall. Like are we being erased from narratives? Are, but is our is our is our stuff getting taken away? But from but us, I right? think it's because we have to acknowledge that boba is one of those symbols of Asian oh, America for sure, that yeah. has made it like any of our foods, right? Any yeah. of our food can be slowly diluted and take like. For us, for Asian people, food is our main export of culture, I think, to, to the West, yeah. right? I will say, and I'm gonna finish up here, I think boba is one of those interesting products that okay. actually even all other Asians that I've met don't even know exactly where it comes from. Mm. Like, some other people okay. who are outside of the Asian community think it's like Japanese. Oh. I didn't to know be that. honest, no, not, I mean, because wow. not everybody is even familiar with, yeah. like, Taiwan yeah, as a yeah. place, sure. to be honest, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, they're not as familiar, so That's I think true. a lot of people either think it's like Japanese or is it you know, from China, whatever, you yeah. know? So I guess like even that, I can see why you want that information to be out there. And yeah. I think it's fair because if that's where it originates, you know. And it's confusing out. too, because like people say, let's go get boba, but I didn't even get boba, you know? Like now, now boba has just become like this, in general, yeah. like a drink lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? What are we even talking about anymore? <laughs> Guys, anyways, uh, yeah, let us know what you thought about that episode. Let us know what you think about you know, non-Asian people opening up Asian businesses. We've talked about it on our channel before. Obviously, in general, I'm cool with it as long as they don't stand there and say, oh, this is the best boba. Yeah. I'm innovating boba. As long as Donald Glover doesn't make the boba anthem yeah, and yeah. try to trump boba life. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys have that a lot. We did that. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, we're out in the Bay Area. We're here for the Bay Area Classic. Uh, shout out to Dan, AKA Dan, who has, uh, you know, um, Organized it. Shout out to T Spot. It is one of the most authentic boba shops <laughs> in the area. And Phil, Bopo Mofo, what's going on with it? Dude, Bopo Mofo, yeah, we're still, we don't have a Donald Glover, but you have me. You're not, not <laughs> Donald Glover. Um, no, we're, uh, we're doing great. Uh, we're actually opening up our third location in San Diego. And we have some other locations in the works also. So, wow. Yeah, we're expanding. Wow. Yes. So. Yeah, to be fair, you do own a boba chain. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm a little bit more, uh, th I take this a little bit more personal and I have a little bit more to say. Again, not gay people, just asking why. Just but asking. all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit that like button. Let us know if you like the walk and talk videos outside more. Obviously, uh, you know, we're shooting on a little Osmo 3 and we're just trying to do something different because we want to make content on the go. So shout out to the Bay Area. Here's some highlights of the game.